the story I chose today was The Great Escape by Paul Brickhill. And it's about, about POWs during World War II and their escapes from German POW camps and the dangers they encountered. One tunnel Roger had decided was to go from block 123 out under the western wire to the woods beyond, an obvious choice as it was as near the wire as any hut. It was also on the far side of the compound to the German camp and the furthest hut from the gate, which meant more seclusion and more warning of any snap search. It also meant it was going to be a hut the Germans would suspect, but you couldn't have everything. We're going to call this one Tom. Roger told the attentive committee, they're all to be known by their names, and by their names only. If any bastard in this camp utters the word tunnel carelessly, carelessly I'll have him court-martialed. The second tunnel was to go from 122 because it was an inside hut and not likely to be so much suspected. It was also to be known as Dick. The third one was to go from hut 104 by the northern wire. This meant an extra 100 feet to go under the second boundary wire, but that also meant the Germans wouldn't regard it as a likely site. Roger named it Harry. Roger, Floyd, and the other tunnel kings surveyed the three huts to find sites for the trap doors, a most important part of the business because it was usually the traps that gave tunnels away. So the traps had to be perfect. And this was a headache because the Germans had built the hut floors about two feet above the ground so they could so they could crawl underneath to see if anyone was tampering with the soil of the fatherland. They made one mistake though because they made solid brick and concrete foundation walls right around under the washrooms and the huts and also a little square of each living room where the stove stood. The ferrets couldn't crawl into these areas, so they were the logic spots for the traps. By April 11th, Roger and Floyd had picked all trap sites. Tom was to be in a dark corner of the concrete floor by a chimney of 123. Dick was to start from the washroom of 122, and Harry was to drop under a stove in one of the end big rooms of 104. I chose this story because I really enjoy reading about World War II and the encounters that the that they had to go through to safely make it home. I hope you enjoy the class.